Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. Today's video I'm going to be showing you how to clean your doll skin with uh, the baking soda method. I have a video on my channel of how to do it with benzoyl peroxide, which I posted like four years ago and somehow got a lot of views because it was really bad. But anyway, um, so I'm trying this method today because I don't have any benzoyl peroxide right now. So I'm going to take you along with me and show you how to do it. Alright, so Eleanor here has got herself into a bit of a pickle. I don't know if you can, you can tell definitely, but it's just maybe not how bad it is. She's got stains on her arms from uh, this gray shirt, gray turtleneck, because somebody, and it definitely wasn't me, left her in, has left her in the same shirt since like February. Um, so today I really need to clean that off before summer and I'm really hoping it comes off. But if it doesn't, it's okay because I'm hoping to send her in for the eye exchange, so maybe they'll fix it then. Alright, so here's what you're going to need to do. First, I have a toothbrush for scrubbing at it, and then I also have these makeup cleansing wipes for wiping it off after and if I just need to be more gentle. And then this is my baking soda mixture, which I will talk more about. Alright, so this mixture is four tablespoons of baking soda and a, probably about two of water. I didn't really measure the water. Um, and it looks really watery on camera. I don't know if you can see, it's actually quite thick. There's kind of just like water sitting on top. Okay, so the first thing we're gonna do is take this girl's clothes off and tie her hair back. So here's my favorite scrunchie that I use. I probably shouldn't use that. All right, here's the hair elastic. Okay, so here's kind of an overview of her stains with my phone camera flash on so you can really see it. So she has, and along here on this arm, it's really bad. Oh, there's the back. Oh, you can't see it. There's the back. This arm isn't so bad, but it's like not good. And it's also like in here, so I don't really know how I'm gonna get that off. It didn't really get on the cloth of her body all that much, mostly just the vinyl. I don't think it really sunk into the cloth at all. If anyone was wondering, it was an Elite Doll World shirt, but I, I don't blame her because leaving your doll in any shirt for like four months is not a good plan, especially a dark colored one, so I blame myself. Okay, so this toothbrush has pretty soft bristles, so I think we'll be okay, but I'm going to try with these makeup wipes first just to be more gentle. And the reason I have this fork here is because it's all kind of like collected at the bottom, so I can kind of like some of it on. It's like really thick paste at the bottom and then oh I got it on my table. Okay cool. That's a lot of baking soda. Okay let's go. Okay so I just got this face cloth to put down because I was getting baking soda everywhere. I think this is working. This toothbrush is gonna be wrecked by the end of this so I don't really want to get it inside of her, but like... Okay, so I can't really tell if this is working. I think it's helping, but I think it's going to take a while. And um, I think I would be better off with benzoyl peroxide, so this might be a better option for a few of dolls with um, stains that aren't so bad. But I'm going to keep working at it and let you guys know if it gets any better. Okay, so I got this scrubby thing from my bathroom, which I'm going to try now, because the toothbrush wasn't quite doing the job. I've also switched to the other arm, because the stains aren't as bad as that on that side, so I'm hoping that it'll work. Okay, so pro tip I've discovered, you put a sock over their head, because the baking soda is so fine that when you scrub at it, it goes everywhere. So, sock over the head should do the trick, I'm hoping. Also, I've discovered that the baking soda is easier to wipe off if you use a dry cloth than a wet one. Alright, so here she is after. I think she's her stains are improved, but they're definitely still there, so I think I'm going to have to try benzoyl peroxide. Uh, thus, this video is a bit of a fail, but uh, I hope it at least helped in teaching you the process. I think this would work for like smaller stains, like maybe she just she gets like a lot of dirt on her or something, but for actually like deep stains in the vinyl, I think you actually need to bleach the skin, which is what the benzoyl peroxide does. So after 
lightening the stains a bit at least and making a mess of my desk, uh, I will call this video uh, to an end. So I hope you enjoyed it. Make sure to check out the rest of my videos, comment, like, and subscribe, the whole shebang. Thank you very much. Um, and also comment down below some video ideas because I'm going to try and film a lot this summer so that when I'm in university I can schedule videos to upload. I mean, I say that now, but who knows if I'll actually do it. Don't, I am certainly not the model age YouTuber. But also uh, comment some videos that I can do while I'm in university, like dorm tours and stuff, because I think I'm going to make another channel and do that sort of thing. So thank you guys for watching again, and I'll see you next time. Bye!